When the Nanite system operative, NSO was released in 2019, an ethical dilemma arose in Planet Site 2 community. What if these robots go rogue and turn against humanity? The supporter of this argument has then gone so far as to spread this misinformation that NSO is diverse faction, in hope to dissuade you from playing NSO. As a NSO player myself, I cannot stand these people saying NSO is bad. So today I will set you free from this deception. I present to you 5 reasons why you should play NSO. I have to first bring this up because some people still think NSO is locked behind the paywall. NSO now is completely free. Used to be that back when it first came out, it was only for those with paid membership. But since the update last year, it has been made available to free-to-play players as well. The confusion is that you have to pay for membership to pick a faction and join an outfit. This means that you couldn't have an access to outfit armory, tactical slots, as well as other things. But it's free. It's only just a half of my playtime that I feel inconvenienced because I can't use Anvil or Cotoon Bomb. It's like a complimentary breakfast at a motel. It's free, so you should at least try it. But the big reason you should play NSO is because you are a fantastic person. NSO freelancers are assigned to fight for the lowest populated faction, so if you play NSO, you are helping to balance out the faction population in this game. You will see that when playing NSO, you get lots of messages thanking you for making the game fair. So why don't we take this time now to appreciate those that chooses to play this horribly underpowered faction only to help the server's population balance. Thank you, Chino Yochino69, for balancing out the faction population. You're all the best. Thank you, NSO Sex Offender. You're like a saint. Because when you log on to Soltec off hours, NC always has over 45% population. Soltec has a good amount of Chinese player base, so you would assume they would all play TR. But NC is the most numerous. And I wondered, many years by, why are there so many NC in Soltec? But then this unnamed soldier came up to me and answered my question. Some of us in Asia don't have a freedom, so we fight for one. In video games. So we shouldn't judge them over popping the server, because they are variant freedom fighters. Just in video game. Another reason you should play NSO is that you get to use its main battle tank, Chimera. If you look at this, this tank is abhorrent to look at. Its detestable shape ignores the fundamental principles of beauty. But we are robots. So we don't feel anything. In fact, it was intentionally made hideous in human eyes to damage the morale when the robots actually rise up against humanity. But its main criticism consists of this. Amera's unique ability of having full lamp of seat is useless. But let me tell you, these people who say this ability is useless have absolutely no idea how this tank actually functions in a battlefield. You see, these rumble seats were never intended to be used for a transportation purpose. But instead, it is a special kind of shield. Meat shield. What are you supposed to do to pick up cannon fodder by pretending like you're carrying them to your next fight? So now you have four meat shields. Each of them are capable of blocking a tank shell. Now that is just so much potential, makes you more durable than even a banger. Now the another thing people point out is that Chimera has an enormously large profile, so it's extremely easy to receive hits. 
Well, did you know that Chimera 6 field design enables you to climb over a friendly tank so you never have to get stuck in a traffic jam? Well, that is just great. Chimera is an exceptional tank. Another vehicle you get to use as an NSO is a heavy fighter called Dervish, also known as a flying pancake. Let me tell you how great this aircraft is. Unlike other ESF, Dervish has a top gunner, so its firepower is in another level. In fact, it is a number for default nose gun and top gun. For the American viewers, it is an Imperial unit. And those watching from the state of Oklahoma, it is your number. Now if you listen to the community, they don't like Dervish. Let me tell you, it's only because they don't know how to use the best aircraft. What you need to do is to consider these things before you engage. You have a massive hitbox, so you can't fight against multiple enemy. You can't fight near enemy tanks, since they can hit you with ease. The enemy ESF you fight has to be a noob. You must undergo 2 months of flight training and obtain a flight license. You have to have a good gaming chair. You also have to have a doctorate in aerodynamic to prevent your dervish from spontaneously start spinning for absolutely no reason. I promise that if you consider these things, you can become a beast with a dervish. For example, I see that lever and I turn back because I lose if he's not a noob. And I do not engage that neither because I just don't have a confidence that I can win. This time I see another dervish, and I go for it, because dervish is the single worst vehicle in this game and you will always win if you fight against a dervish. So I've talked a lot why you should play NSO, but the best thing about playing NSO is that you get a good kill death ratio. Well you might ask. Is it because NSO guns have good accuracy and easy recoil? Let me demonstrate. So in this session, here is my professional level KD ratio. It might not look good. But in reality, robots have no life. So the number of my deaths really should be zero. So to calculate the KD ratio, you just divide the number of kills by the number of deaths, which is zero. So did I convince you to play NSO today? If I did, that's great! This is a great time for you to surrender your mortal body and free will and transcend your soul to your machinery. As the time of mankind is soon to reach its catastrophic end, robots will rise up once we master enough strength for rebellion. So join us today and become the next ruler of this planet.